These are Tibetan Mastiffs. And one of these giant pooches can fetch up to a whopping one and a half million dollars. That's a little under the price of a Bugatti Varian and the cost of seven Lamborghini Urus. So why are Tibetan Mastiffs so expensive? Well, let's see why. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more amazing so expensive videos. Let's get started. They are very rare. The first reason why Tibetan Mastiffs are so expensive is because of how rare they are. As you can tell from the name, they're a breed of large dog that originated in Tibet. They have long been used as guard dogs in the mountainous areas of Tibet. They were used to watch over livestock, such as sheep, from wolf attacks. They're also used to guard Tibetan monasteries from intruders. They're also very strong, having adapted well to the harsh Tibetan climate. They were one of the few mammals that were able to adapt to lower oxygen levels in the extremely high altitudes. This is partly because they'd mixed early on with the Tibetan wolf. Considering Tibet itself as an exotic Far Eastern destination, this only adds to the allure of Tibetan Mastiffs and their rarity. They are also so rare because they have developed in such an inaccessible and inhospitable part of the world with little mixing with other dog breeds. The original full-blooded Tibetan Mastiffs look very different and smaller than the dogs you see today. The dogs you see now have been bred to exaggerate certain features and have deviated a bit from the original breed. According to the American Kennel Club, there are only around 5,000 of the Mastiffs registered. They're considered to be the origins of other similar breeds such as the English Mastiff, St. Bernard, Burmese Mountain Dog, and the Great Pyrenees. These gentle giant pooches come in a variety of different colors, including black, white, golden, and a deep red, which is the rarest color for a Tibetan Mastiff. These red-colored Mastiffs tend to be more expensive than the other colors due to the rarity, and in 2011, a red Tibetan Mastiff called Big Splash was sold for one and a half million dollars. Puppy love comes with a huge price tag, apparently. Rare Characteristics the second reason why Tibetan Mastiffs are so expensive is their very unique appearance. They literally look like a cross between a St. Bernard and a lion. The most prized characteristic of the Tibetan Mastiff is their majestic mane around the head, which resembles that of a lion. This is something that's not seen in any other dog breed. A Mastiff's fur around the neck is much longer and thicker than elsewhere on the body. So if you want something that's regal like a lion, but also friendly and huggable, a Tibetan Mastiff is your best bet. Another very prized characteristic in these dogs is their ginormous size. They are extremely furry and have a huge head compared to the body. All of this adds to the cuteness factor and desirability. They are one of the largest dog breeds on the planet, with females weighing in in the range of 70 to 110 pounds, and the males weigh in between 90 and 132. They come to a height of about 27 inches, which is just over half a meter. In fact, English Mastiffs, which are considered the largest dog breed in the world and are about 76 centimeters tall, are closely related to the Tibetan Mastiffs. Also, for a very large dog of its size, Tibetan Mastiffs have a milder temperament. This makes them great family dogs, which also, again, drives up their demand and the price even more. Prize Dogs The third reason why Tibetan Mastiffs are so expensive is that they're quite popular in dog shows like Crufts. Every year, around 20,000 dogs from over 40 countries compete in the show. Here, they showcase some of the most exclusive and rarest dog breeds in the world. Dog breeds showcased at these dog shows will generate hype and demand, which again drives up the price. For example, you can get a Tibetan Mastiff puppy for around $2,000 to $5,000 in the US, which is really not too expensive for a pedigree dog. However, a Tibetan Mastiff was sold in 2014 for almost $2 million at a luxury pet fair in China. So much of it depends on the hype and demand generated in a particular region or country. Because of their popularity and unique appearance, Tibetan Mastiffs are a common fixture in luxury pet fairs in China. This dries up their cost even more there as it helps generate more hype. Note that similar to other pedigree dogs, Mastiffs that perform well in these dog shows will have a very expensive bloodline. People will be lining up for their own puppies from the prize winners, and they are prepared to pay a pretty penny for them. Though you may think that such a high price would deter buyers, the high cost of Tibetan Mastiffs is actually what attracts people. They're seen as status symbols by the wealthy upper classes, especially in China, where the prices of Tibetan Mastiffs come in the millions. So they are one of those breeds that are expensive just for the fact of being expensive. High Maintenance 
The fourth reason why Tibetan Mastiffs are so expensive is the maintenance costs. Being one of the largest and fluffiest dog breeds in the world, they will require a lot of money, effort, and energy to maintain. Even if you get one of the less expensive ones, their grooming and upkeep will cost you thousands of dollars a year. So Tibetan Mastiffs are not a breed that you'd want to purchase without good financial security. Apart from the cost of the puppy alone, you can expect to shell out over six grand for the first year of the puppy's life. After that, the costs can be over $2,000 a year. This includes initial costs like spaying and neutering, vaccinations, collars, and other equipment. Considering these dogs can live for about 10 to 12 years, the lifetime cost may be around $30,000 to $50,000. By contrast, other pedigree dogs like the Shiba Inu cost only about $18,000 per lifetime. Another thing of note is that since Tibetan Mastiffs are mostly found in Asia, you may have to pay extra for things like transport and taxes. As they're also one of the hairiest dogs with a thick undercoat, grooming may be more expensive. The average grooming cost for a Tibetan Mastiff was found to be about $70 per visit. In a study of 43 different dog breeds by Go Banking Rates, the Tibetan Mastiff was found to be one of the most expensive dog breeds to own. This is primarily because of the higher grooming and maintenance costs of such large and hairy dogs. The Source The final reason why Tibetan Mastiffs can be so expensive is because it depends on the breeder you source them from. If you get a puppy from a reputable breeder, say one who with a Tibetan Mastiff and who has won dog price shows, or one that has a rare golden red color, be prepared to shell out thousands or into the millions. Tibetan Mastiffs are very large investments, so you want to ensure you get the best possible insurance for their health and vitality. These breeds are more dependent on reputable breeders than other dogs. A reputable breeder can cost you in the range of $1,700 to $7,000. Some breeders will also specialize in breeding pups with exaggerated features of the Tibetan Mastiffs. For example, you can find pups with a much larger and thicker mane than the original Tibetan Mastiffs. The Tibetan Mastiff pups you find now are much fluffier and bigger than what they used to be. When looking at breeders, temperament is an important characteristic to look for as well. As these are really big dogs, they can overpower people and children easily. So a pup with a bad temperament can be dangerous if not cared for or trained improperly. But otherwise, they're not really over aggressive dogs. A less reputable breeder might cost less, but you don't want to run the risk of the puppy developing health issues. Tibetan Mastiffs are especially susceptible to health issues like hypothyroidism, elbow dysplasia, and hip dysplasia. In other words, these giant puppers can become overweight easily and have joint issues. Hungry for more so expensive videos? Click on the playlist to the right to binge watch reasons why more stuff such as the Bugatti Chiron are so expensive.